guys, Pierce Jose one more time, One Way Lump Service. So I want to give you a quick review on this uh, Toro. The engine, basically the the kit, the house kit, the frame, whatever you want to call it, is made by uh, Toro. But the engine, right Saturn? So I want to bring a couple pins that I don't really like about this and I don't really I'm not saying like I'm not recommending to you know to anyone but for a person like me doing this kind of business you know using this one word probably five to seven times a day is not really recommended and let me tell you why the reason is because the system right here is not making me feel productivity on my job so let's take a look the more uh, so we can talk about it Okay guys, so back to the mower. The one thing I don't really like about this mower is I was so confused on my first time while I was using this. If you take a look into the wheels, for example this right here, normally my other regular Toro 22 or 21, 22 I guess, you know, you normally you want to lower this thing, you go all the way this way, you know, and it goes down okay for example this one brings the tire or the entire frame down so I pull to the front and this one is the opposite way so this one if you want to bring it down I have to go on reverse take a look so this kind of system it doesn't make sense to me you know because basically it's easy to go the front the front tires to the back and the rear tire to the back. So if you want to bring it to the five inches high, so I have to do basically the back tire to the front and the front tire to the back. To me, I'm not happy with this kind of system. I don't really like it, I don't recommend it. Okay, another thing that I want to talk about this one is I'm going to start the mower and see what happens. My main issue on this one is pull this to start it, bring it lower, and then you pull. So when you get, when you reach to the end of the line, you want to make a turn. And when you want to make a turn, you want to easily do this and back up. So this Forward, it doesn't give you any uh, access to back up. Even if you pull this thing right here, it's kind of like a, the tire doesn't help you while the engine is running. So let's take a look. the end of the line I want to try to back up or make a U-turn so I can turn the mower so it's basically the, the rear tires are hard you know to bring the whole mower back so it's, it's hard you can, you can see it's hard it's not easy it's not like front wheels take a look at front wheels so it's, it's not on forward it is on reverse so this is reverse this is still hard. I have to pull it. So that's my complaint about it. So let's keep doing. So for example, let's say I'm finished. I want to bring it back. 
see how hard it is. It's really hard. It's not smooth, not at all, for some reason. I don't really like it. Look, this is what I'm talking about, look. See, I don't know if it's the transmission. See, that's, they hard to keep rolling. So that's what I'm talking about. But being honest with you guys, is everything about this system right here. It's all about it. You know, the mower cuts grass really good. You know, it cuts grass really, really good. This is an Agustin, and it cuts really good. But that's the only thing I don't really like it. And you know, the engines, it's made of a lot of plastic. It's not a great engine, you know. And uh, the frame is okay, but the rest is like, like you say, this is a lot of plastic. It's not like my other one. So I can lift my other mower, my other Toro, from this area right here. This one I can because if I lift from here, this is basically the gas tank. And uh, it's made out of plastic. So, too bad. Don't buy it if you don't want to deal with this piece of equipment. Just buy a Honda or buy a Toro. But... Now with this kind of system.